HRC, 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 HRC. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church. I'm pretty sure everybody's been aware of what's going on throughout the world. It's a lot going on. Um, here in America, we've been having multiple events, to say the least, multiple trail derainings throughout the whole country, oil toxic spills, any chemical spills. Uh, it's been going into the soil. It's been going into the air because they decided to burn it. There's a big giant chemical fire in China overnight right now. Look how that is. That's just spewing all kinds of chemicals into the environment. And this is in central China. Here's a giant chemical fire in Italy right now. Look at that. That's happening today as well. Isn't that fun how it's just all over the planet all at once? And they're all chemical fires. And of course, here's a giant chemical fire in Florida. It's affecting the animals. Animals are dying, crops are dying. Uh, it's affecting the water. A 700 gallon fuel spill in Mount Haleakala in Maui. This was a, a nuclear event, by the way. So this and another happening in Hawaii have made it so that there's basically no drinking water available on the island. A train carrying the highly toxic chemical vinyl chloride derailed and exploded near the Ohio-Pennsylvania border. To prevent a more dangerous explosion, the crew then had to add and burn more toxic chemicals. This created a highly toxic gas that can cause vomiting and breathing troubles and was used as a weapon in the First World War. Huge side effects from burning these toxic chemicals are seen from the wildlife and residents in Ohio. Thousands of fish are found dead, pets are falling sick, and local residents when returning to Ohio have reported breathing difficulties and symptoms of asthma. Investigations into why the train derailed show that there was an ineffective oversight by the industry and that the industry has been putting record profits over safety for years. On top of this, train drivers have been warning the government and striking to prevent this kind of horrific accident from happening. It's a, it's a lot going on, plus throughout the rest of the world. Now you have snow in California right now. You have what seems to be plastic falling from the sky in Ohio and other surrounding areas. You have snow in Las Vegas at this time. You have earthquakes in Turkey. You have war. America declared war with um, Russia, China, Iran are back in Russia. They're preparing for war. Uh, America's preparing for war. The EU, I'm pretty sure they're preparing for war. Saudi Arabia is going to be preparing for war soon because they're on the side of China, Iran, and Russia. Yeah, it's a lot going on. I don't know if you guys want to add anything that you guys may be seeing, but um, it's it's a lot. and. It just shows that we're at the time of Baruch. With the power of Baruch, it's the last 10 and a half years where everything's mingled together. So we're in the consummation of the times. Right. And we're getting closer and closer. So that definitely lets us know because everything gets mingled together. Um, matter of fact, let me get it. I have it right here. This is the book, second Baruch chapter 25. It said, sign of the coming judgment. And he answered and said unto me, you too shall be preserved to that time, to that sign which the most high will work for the inhabitants of the earth in the end of days. This therefore shall be the sign. When the stupor shall cease the inhabitants of the earth. So that means that everybody's going to be operating on a very low frequency, a low intellectual um low intellectual dealings. 
and they shall fall into many tribulations. So you see people going through a lot right now. You see people going through a lot of mental health issues. They're going through a lot of things physical in their life. Like they're going through a lot of tribulations and you see all the tribulations that's happening throughout the earth. And again, they shall fall into great torments. So that right there, that can be mental. So you see all the different torments that people are going through because it's, it, life is hard. I mean, I'm seeing videos of people crying on their videos because life is so hard right now and they're being tormented mentally and physically. And it will come to pass when they say in their thoughts by reason of their much tribulation, the mighty one doeth no longer remember the earth. So you see a lot of people going into unbelief. That's why it's, it's getting very prevalent that the devil is able to pick up and able to do things in plain sight or to, to become stronger in his boldness because of the lack of faith and everybody going through so much that they're like, Allah doesn't remember us. Yes, it will come to pass when they abandon hope. So people are going to start abandoning hope in Elohim. And that's what we're leading unto. That's why you see all these things going on. And it's so crazy right now. Because the whole intention is for people to abandon hope in Elohim. And on the other side, it's for them to be ready for when the devil comes to the light. When he comes out. When the false prophet comes out that they will actually be ready to receive him and his workers because they're going to come out too that the time will then awake and i answered and said will that tribulation which is to be continue a long time and will that necessity embrace many years so it's like how long is this going to take how long is this going to go on the 12 woes that are come upon the earth, the Messiah and the temporary messianic kingdom. And he answered and said unto me, into 12 parts is that time divided. All right, so you have the 10 and a half years that Brother Kasafo talked about. It's the 12th part. So all the other parts that we're going to read came before the 10 and a half years. And then when the 10 and a half years comes, that's when we're in the 12th part and you're going to understand what's going on in the 12th part to understand why the 10 and a half years is so significant. And each one of them is reserved for that, which is appointed for it. In the first part, there shall be the beginning of commotions. So that means that's when everything is starting. Everything gets a little rowdy. Everything gets a little riled up. Um, you, you have different things going on. You're like, okay, it's starting to get chaotic. Different things are happening. It's like, all right, something's going on. I don't really know what's going on. And that's been going on for a while. Okay. We've been hearing about all these different wars and all this, this and that, and everything that's going on in the world and the different diseases and this and that and the commotion and people's like, okay, like something's going on. All right. And the second part that should be slaying a great one. So that means that a lot of people started dying. We had that time where a lot of people were dying, a lot of people that were influential. Um, so you can see the falling of great ones because of course we've been learning, of course, when it comes to like different industries that a lot of the people that are in the big influential spaces have literally given themselves over to the devil. So the devil just reclaims what with the contract for them. So that's how that goes. And the third part, the fall of many by death. So a lot of people started dying, whether that be um, different diseases, whether that be, we had the whole Corona thing. We had so many other Ebola. We had so many different things that caused a lot of people to die. And the fourth part, the sinning of the sword. So a lot of people that died through war or through different battles throughout the earth or through violence in their respective areas. 
So you can see the falling of the sword, because the sword doesn't necessarily mean war. The sword just means um, like a weapon. And the fifth part, famine and withholding of rain. So you see different areas that they didn't have any food. The crops weren't growing. And that's been going on. And the withholding of rain, a lot of places haven't been getting rain. And it's not really televised. It's not spoken of in news outlets. And that's one of the things that makes it so hard to read what's going on in the earth because the news media is literally controlled by certain companies. They have the highest stake in the companies. Um, with the BlackRock and it's the other one that starts with a V. I'm not familiar. They own a lot of the news outlets. They own Disney. They have the highest stakes in both of those um, companies. That's why even with the train derailments, even in the one in Ohio, BlackRock is one of the big stakeholders for Norfolk Southern the train company, and also, was it Fox? You see the Fox? I think it's Fox. So they're not, they're not speaking of what actually happened because they're trying to keep it down. They're trying to keep it hushed. And in the sixth part, earthquakes and terrors. So we see earthquakes have been happening all over the earth. We just had an earthquake in Turkey. Um, there's been so many earthquakes that have been reported beforehand. Like, you should be seeing the pattern that everything that the word is talking about is true and everything's going to come to pass. And terrors. Uh -huh. Hey, Zach, I'm going to read this portion of Luke. Hopefully, I am bring to remember which one terrors was referring to. It said, um, then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. I think the terrors was referring to the fearful sights. Yeah, right. The, the meaning is in G fifty four. Yeah. Right. So you see the terrors are the different sites of all these things happening. And that's what brings the terror. That's why even that's why I said earthquake and terrors, because these sites bring fear into people's hearts. And terror is nothing but fear or extreme fear. And the seventh part, wanting. And the eighth part, a multitude of specters and attacks to shit them. So specters is like a ghost or spirit. And a tax to shit them, it's like evil spirits. So you can see a lot of people are battling with evil spirits and they're seeing. I've even witnessed um, some people giving accounts that they've been seeing like ghosts and evil spirits. So it's literally happening depending on what spirit you're operating in or you always hear the stories of people that do drugs or hard drugs and they're seeing different entities and it really just shows what spirit you're in. And I heard a man give an account. He said he felt like he was able to see these spirits because he was already half dead. And he was able to see these spirits because he was on drugs so bad. And when he would do the drugs, he would start seeing all these different spirits because he was already half dead or he was literally dying. And it makes perfect sense because of the spirit that he was operating in, that he was able to see those evil spirits roaming and maneuvering in the earth because they're here. We just can't see them. So just so people can get an understanding of what these scriptures are actually talking about. You remember the attacks of Shittim with, um, gun violence and things like that demonic attacks where people and neighbors and all that we've seen gun violence increasing those are the attacks of shit and demonic spirits causing people to do yeah, things of that over. Measure. yeah and that's been going on for a while attacks of shit have been going on for a while with the gun violence the gangs these are evil spirits that have been taking these people over 
So just like what Brother Constable was saying. And the ninth part, the fall of fire. So whether that be bombs, whether that be rockets, whatever the case is, we see the fighting going on. There's always been fighting going on. There's been fighting going on in Israel and Palestine for a long time. There's other wars that have been going on, smaller wars. Now we have Russia and Ukraine. So you can see what's been going on all throughout the earth, right? And the tenth part, Rafine and much oppression. Rafine is violent seizures of someone's property. So they'll come and they'll take everything. And now they do that under the pretense of the law. You didn't pay your taxes. Or if there's a reason the government sees fit to come and seize your property, they'll come and seize it without any real justification. If there's a chemical spill or something in the area, they can seize your property. If anything that negates national security, they can seize your property. And they've been doing it over and over and over again. And it just really hasn't been televised. And we can't talk about anywhere else in the world that these things may be going on because their governments are not even as good as far as a structure as American government. So he said this was gonna befall the whole world. So you have to really look at a, a broad spectrum of different places and what's going on in those different respective areas. So we have to really pay attention to what's going on throughout the whole world, not just our own country, our own area. Let's see. It says, in the 10th part, Raphine, so that's the seizures, and much oppression. So it's just oppression going on all over the world. Um, there's little wars, people are oppressing, people are killing off certain groups of people. Uh, uh, oppression, that's been going on with Black people for so long. It's been going on with minorities for so long, Indigenous peoples for so long. So you can see all these things are an accumulative to actually fulfilling what's going on all over. It says, and the 11th part, wickedness and unchastity. So here again, we get to see that people are getting farther away from the law, farther away from the fruits of the spirit. Wickedness and unchastity is starting to increase, and it's been increasing throughout the earth, especially in Western culture, in the places that have been affected by Western culture. And I just said especially, but there's wickedness and unchastity going on throughout the whole earth, no matter where you are. Though some people may have their quote unquote standards and how they operate on the outside, but once you look inside of the cup, you will see that same wickedness and unchastity going on amongst the whole world. So I'm just bringing this out so everybody can understand where we are with the world being in the condition or the state it's in right now. And the 12th part, confusion. Now this is the last 10 and a half years so that everybody can understand what is going on and why everything is the way it is today. And the 12th part, confusion from the mingling together of all these things aforesaid. So everything's going to be going on, right? And we're going to clarify so that we can understand how that's going to happen. And these parts of that time are reserved and shall be mingled one with another and minister one to another. So Sometimes two of them can be happening at the same time. Sometimes they will mingle. Sometimes one will happen, another will happen, another a different thing will happen, a different thing will happen, and they'll mingle. Sometimes they'll come together and two things may happen. So you can see it just becomes chaotic and sporadic of all these different things happening at the same time where it just causes fear and confusion. So nobody can understand what's going on. 
For some shall leave out some of their own and receive in instead from others. So it's, that means it's going to switch out, right? And some complete their own and that of others, right? So some, one thing may start, another thing may finish. So they may mingle and join together. So that those may not understand who are upon the earth in those days that this is the consummation of the times. All right. So I just wanted to go over that so everybody can understand, hey, what's actually happening here in the earth? What's actually going on? And to actually have a time stamp of really, okay, things are getting serious. Let's get it together. Let's do what's needful for us to to make it into the kingdom and knowing that all these things are picking up around the world and all these spirits are coming out and they're getting bolder, they're getting more powerful because people are giving unto them or allowing their temple to be made for them. We have to be on more guard for our own temple. We have to be on more guard for what spirits are dwelling in us, seeing that it's more rampant upon the earth. So we really have to strive and really put forth that effort to get it together and to make sure that we're making the necessary changes so that we're not caught in the midst of all this stuff going on. Um, Brother Kasi, you got anything? Amen. And for further education on the times, there's a video called Consummation of the times, are we there yet that you can reference for complete preceptual thing on this times? All right, I just wanted to come on and speak a little bit about what should the Gentiles do in these times? We see everything going on. We see the consummation of the times. We see that we're actually in the time that Baruch spoke about, and I didn't want to leave the Gentiles without anything. Although we were going to go over a lesson, we actually going to we actually have a lesson planned for this specific topic. Um, as far as the Israelites, we have the um, after America. Where do we go? We have that whole playlist for everyone. But for the Gentiles, we didn't have much information that was out. So we, I wanted to put this out so that it'll go with what's going on in the world today. Um, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter eleven, verse ten, and it says. And that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, right? So Jesse is David's father. So there's going to be a root or a person that's going to come forth from that lineage. And he's actually going to do specific things for it to be a sign for everyone, especially the Gentiles. Which shall stand for an ensign of the people. So he's going to be a sign for the people. And for the people, that means all Alaheim's people. And we're going to actually go into this in the lesson. We're going to further expound on it very, very clearly. To it shall the Gentiles seek. So when that man from the from the root of Jesse stands for an ensign, the Gentiles are going to seek after that. They're going to follow after that. And that's why when we read in Isaiah 11 and 11, that the Gentiles will be found in those places of Isaiah 11 and 11 because they already seeked after the root of Jesse, the man that stood up for an ensign. They seeked after him and they went to him. And that's why when it refers to in Isaiah 11 and 11, when it says, and it shall come to pass in that day, because this is further than the ensign. So when a man stands up from Judah as an ensign, this is after. So it says, and it shall come to pass. So after that happened, it's going to come to pass later that Yahweh is actually going to be receiving the remnant of his people in those areas of Isaiah 11 and 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. The remnant of his people, so this is all people, this isn't just Israel, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations. Right? So after the man of Jesse sets up the ensign, 
he's actually the enzyme. After that, when Yache comes, Yache is going to set up another enzyme. And he shall set up an enzyme for the nations. That for the nations. So this is for everybody. Okay? So you have the, the man from the tribe of Judah, which is an enzyme for the people. And then you have Yache coming, and he sets up an enzyme for the nations. Right? So it's more. Right? Because the man of, of Judah... He's only coming for Alahanya's people. But Yajit is a testimony for everybody. Okay? Whether you believe or whether you don't believe. See? The man of Judah is coming for those that believe. Yache, he's going to set up the enzyme for everybody, even if you don't believe. Because many of the people that did not believe or did not come and uh, literally... Um, afflict the children of Israel are going to be spared so you can see all the nations that Yache is going to set up an enzyme for and he shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth so that's what Yache is going to do okay so just so everybody understands what to do and why the Gentiles have to get to the places of Isaiah in 1111 when that time comes so we just wanted to make sure everybody understood um everybody had the understanding and definitely definitely stay prayed up um, make sure that you're doing what's needful for your own soul and salvation and and be watchful of everything that's going on and everything that's transpiring throughout the earth so that we're not caught in the midst of it and we're not uh, led astray from our own desires to fall into what a lot of people are going to fall into here in these times. So I keep you all. May Ahaya Alahayam do with good pleasure for the sake of all of us and deliver us. HRC, 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 Hebrew Reader, Hebrew Reader, Hebrew Reader Church.